Greetings once again from the Kenyan teacher. We appreciate your support. Welcome to KCSE 2017 Chemistry Paper 2 Metals and in particular lead metal was tested. In question 6, the following steps were used to analyze a metal ore. Step 1. An ore of a metal was roasted in a stream of oxygen, a gas with a pungent smell was formed which turned acidified potassium dichromate 6 green. Now students from understanding of our chemistry, we can guess this gas to be sulfur 4 oxide based on the property that it has a pungent smell and it was able to turn acidified potassium dichromate 6 green. Moving to step 2, the residue left after roasting was dissolved in hot dilute nitric 5 acid. Crystals were obtained from the solution. Now looking at that step, it is still impossible to tell which cation is present in the residue. So we shall move on to step 3, which says that some crystals were dried and heated. A brown acidic gas and a colorless gas were evolved and a yellow solid remained. There is some hint, but still we can't tell what the yellow solid was. But step 4 actually is an eye opener. The solid was yellow when cold. So this obviously we are able to tell our solid was lead oxide. So that after reacting, after dissolving the residue in hot dilute nitric 5 acid, we can now tell that we obtained lead nitrate. So that is what we have there. And finally, step 5, the yellow solid was heated with powdered charcoal. Shiny beads were formed. So this one we reduced our lead oxide using carbon and we ended up forming lead metal. So the five steps have been able to give us a clue of what was happening to our ore. Or rather, we have been able to identify our ore. So with the analysis of the five steps, we have come to a conclusion that the gas with a pungent smell produced in step one is sulfur 4 oxide. Then the residue being dissolved in hot dilute nitric 5 acid was able to give us lead 2 nitrate solution. The solid which was yellow when cold was lead oxide and finally when we reduced lead lead oxide using carbon in form of charcoal we were able to get lead in the form of shiny beads so with this we can now go ahead and answer our questions so part a name the gas formed when the ore was roasted in air and this we have agreed is sulfur 4 oxide. Next, we are asked gases evolved when crystals in step 3 were heated. Now, the crystals that were dried and heated were those of lead nitrate. So when you decompose lead nitrate through heating, we are able to get nitrogen 4 oxide gas and we are also able to get oxygen. 
the yellow solid formed in step 3 we have agreed is lead oxide and finally the shiny beads in step 4 are lead metal moving on to part e the yellow solid from procedure 3 was separated dried melted and the melt electrolyzed using graphite electrodes these are inert electrodes so this solid here was actually lead oxide so when you melt it you are able to get lead ions in your liquid and oxide ions as well because this is molten form of lead oxide so to the first question of part e we are being asked to describe the observations made at each electrode let us start with the cathode so at the cathode we shall discharge lead ions to give you lead metal and therefore we would see uh, or we would observe some gray solid at anode we would discharge the oxide ions and these would come out as bubbles of a colorless gas that would be the observation at anode we would see bubbles of a colorless gas or we say effervescence then for part 2 of part E we are asked to write the equation for the reaction that took place at anode so at anode as agreed earlier we are discharging oxide ions which are in liquid state when this happens we are able to get oxygen gas and you balance this side with a 2 to mean that this kind of a reaction will be accompanied by 4 electrons. At F, some crystals formed in step 2. Again, this is still lead nitrate. This is still lead nitrate. They were dissolved in water to form lead nitrate solution a portion of that solution was reacted with potassium iodide then a yellow precipitate was formed write an equation for the reaction so from lead nitrate we are able to get lead ions and from the potassium iodide we are able to get iodide ions these would react together to precipitate the lead iodide which comes out as a yellow precipitate so we balance with a two on the iodide ions part g to another portion of solution from part f sodium hydroxide was solution uh, solution sorry was added drop by drop until there was no further change describe the observations made so the observation here would be white precipitate soluble in excess to form a colorless solution remember we are dealing with lead ions and we say that lead hydroxide is amphoteric so you would it would react with the excess alkali to form a complex ions which we call tetra hydroxo lead two ions to the last question to a further portion of the solution from f a piece of zinc foil was added so here we are dropping zinc into a solution that contains lead ions and because zinc is more reactive than lead there would be displacement so name the type of reaction taking place that is displacement reaction lead would be displaced from its ions or from its a solution of its ions 
by a more reactive metal like zinc. Write the ionic equation. So lead ions are in solution. When you put in a piece of zinc metal, the zinc would displace lead to form zinc ions and lead would come out as a solid. So that would be the equation. So students, it has been zinc as tested in the year 2017. We hope that the video has given you insights to be able to tackle similar questions should you be tested on the same. We wish you luck and thank you for keeping it the Kenyan teacher.